Hi, everyone. This is Mr. Bailey here to give you a book recommendation for Illegal. This is one of our choices for the graphic novel unit. And in general, this book is a pretty smooth read. I actually read it myself over winter break, which is pretty cool. It is by Ian Col Colfer, uh, Andrew Duncan, and illustrated by Giovanni Regano. The illustrations in this book are very rich. So if you like that comic book reading style format where you have your classic uh, thought bubbles, speech bubbles, setting squares in the corners, this is the book for you. Uh, it reads like a comic book, more like, uh, more like a comic book than a lot of the other graphic novels um, because that's just the style that the author chose, right? The illustrations are vivid, very colorful. We follow a main character, uh, Ibo, as he actually tries to find his way through Africa into Europe to reunite himself with members of his family, his brother, his sister. He's really just trying to, to, to be with his family, right? This is a journey that goes across several countries, and then they try to get to Europe. We'll see what happens. I won't spoil anything. And it's a lot like Salva's journey in a way because you see these multiple settings here. But unlike A Long Walk the Water, we get to see these settings actually drawn out, right? Visually, it looks very pleasing. The imagery is great. Emotionally, there are some happy moments. There are some sad moments. There are really a lot of moments here that, that trigger some emotions, it, both in a positive and, you know, heartfelt ways as we follow our character through his journey. I would say that, um, let's see what else I have here. There are a few central characters through a lot of different settings here, and there are a lot of flashbacks involved in this story. So the story actually starts in the middle of the timeline, right, where they are in the middle of this journey. And then you get some flashbacks that show you what happened before. And then the book goes forward, or the story goes forward, and you see what actually happens at the end in conclusion here. So it is really cool the way that it's written in general. I like the style. Again, you read it like a comic. So I would read this panel left to right, I would go down, left to right, I would go to the other side of the page, left to right, I would go down, left to right. So a lot of times the illustrations will match up, which will help you realize which side to read together as well. But that's the essential structure of it. All in all, I would recommend Illegal. Um, solid read, quick enough read, it's going to fly by when you read it. Um, and It'll be done before you know it, and it is a heartfelt story with a really nice um, nice message when all is said and done, but it definitely shows the hardships of getting to Europe from Africa, especially as a refugee, which is crucial and really what this unit is all about at its core. So yeah, that's my review for Illegal. All right, here is a little preview of the graphic novel, I Remember Beirut. So the story is set from the eyes of a, a girl and her family. She's the main character. It takes place in Lebanon during a, the Lebanon Civil War. So Lebanon, for those of you who don't know, is a country in the Middle East, it borders the, the edge of the Mediterranean Sea. It is to the left of most of Asia, right? It's that left, in the left corner of Asia. And it is above Israel, near Syria as well. So in general, this, this book really stands out to me because it's mostly in black and white, so it's less colorful than illegal, um, but it's written very well. It's written in the same comic style. I would recommend this book for anybody who appreciates creative illustrations and also anybody who likes poetry, because sometimes you see these thought bubbles and there's these conversations like a regular graphic novel, right? We read from left to right, so I would read left, I would go down, I'd read this, I'd read this, left to right, left to right, caption, and then this. Other times, these are written more like a poem, right? So instead of a conversation, this intro just says, I remember the sides were riddled with bullets every time a shell hit it in the neighborhood, the windshield would shatter, right? So it's just a little poetic statement about something that happens. And the word I remember or the phrase I didn't remember or I don't remember, those are repeated quite a bit, which makes sense because the title is I remember Beirut. So it's a girl and her family living inside the Civil War, right? They're living in the middle of a Civil War. Their house is quite literally on the battlefield. So there are a lot of scary things that happen. The family has to journey to safety quite a bit. They do things that we would consider very unsafe today, but they had to, right? They're trying to survive, right? Um, but there's a lot of 
basically um, back and forth with the war. The family tries to find safety. The kids have their lives hugely impacted. So it shows you how war can change a family and how families behave and how people think and how people act. Um, so that's a really cool perspective to take as well. Again, great illustration, super creative. Honestly, it reminds me um, something that I can't quite remember. I'm trying to think of who the artist is, but it's really cool illustrations overall. Uh, and very, very figurative imagery, but in a good way, right? All this stuff's not totally what you see, but the artwork does a really nice job at communicating those things that fly under the radar or things that happen behind the scenes, right? So obviously no spoilers or anything, but I do recommend this, this uh, graphic novel. If you're into poetry, if you're into any kind of dark humor, this is definitely a book for you. If you love illustrations with color, you might want to avoid this book. But overall, I would also recommend this, just like Illegal, very strongly. All right, here is a preview of another graphic novel. The title is Alpha, Abidjan to Paris, All right? So Abidjan is a city in uh, Côte d'Ivoire, other, otherwise known as, uh, also referred to as the Ivory Coast in some circles. Um, but this is a, a graphic novel that is about one man's journey to try and leave uh, Abidjan and get to Europe to reunite with his family, or at least find his family along the way to Europe. He's, he's trying to relocate his family. Um, so he is a, a man who becomes a refugee after his, his uh, family leaves. He goes to find them. He has little luck getting a, a visa and is kind of forced to take some matters into his own hands and try to try his best to get to Europe. Uh, he has a lot of struggles along the way. There's a lot of hardship. This is by far the more advanced graphic novel that I've seen, uh, especially with Lexile level, right? If, you, if you're really comfortable with a higher Lexile level, um, I would say this is a good fit for you. Uh, it's very moving and emotional. It's essentially just a, um, a, a journey across right, Africa to get to Europe. Um, similar to illegal, almost a similar like uh, path in a certain way, right? The way that, that boats are used, especially. Um, and there's a darker tone to this one. Uh, there's definitely a darker story. It is moving and emotional, uh, but the, the paintings are super creative. A lot of them are in this watercolor style, which I think is so cool in general. Um, it reads probably the least like a comic, right? It kind of reads like these beautiful watercolor pictures with just these long descriptions underneath, right? So you have these sentences and sentences, sometimes in paragraph form about what's happening in the current shot that they have painted. Um, but again, the most advanced for vocabulary and lexile. So just make sure that you are comfortable reading at this level if you choose this, um, but it's super creative. It does get more colorful here and there with the illustrations, but the unique watercolor element is here the whole time. So this is another story of somebody struggling to find their family on the way to Europe. Um, and we'll see what happens. Uh, no spoilers, but it is a very moving story. Um, it is, some parts are very sad. Some parts are encouraging, um, but it is a great look into the struggle of somebody attempting to get across the country to Europe as a refugee, especially all the things they've had to go through that people who live a life um, of convenience would never understand, right? But this is it's really cool in general. But yeah, I would also recommend this. Again, higher Lexile level, very cool creative watercolor paintings, a little less like a comic, a little more like a, a page by page story with a little description under each picture, but overall would also recommend this.